What's it like living with Parkinson's? It varies from person to person which part of or aspect of Parkinson's they get. The um, main problem with myself is fine motor controls, um, ability to walk and get around, and general sluggishness. Patients who have Parkinson's disease develop abnormal movements known as dyskinesia, which are dance-like movements, and they can affect their limbs or their head or their trunk. The problem with them is that they fluctuate. So there are times in the day when they are not there, and there are other times when they are very florid and quite intrusive. We don't know when the patient has these because we only see them for 10 minutes in an outpatient setting. So to be able to monitor and see how these movements interfere with their day-to-day -day living, we need to get more than a snapshot. And the way to do that is to put a device on them that will capture these abnormal movements that they can wear at home. And if that device can continually record over 24, 48 or 72 hours, we will at the end of that period have some good idea of how they are with these extra movements and how intrusive they are. So one of the devices we've currently developed, um, stemming from the research undertaken here, is what we call LID monitor. Now this is a device that is primarily used to assess the side effects of the medication for people with Parkinson's. The effects of the medication is, I'm quite lucky, my wife is very good at reminding me to take the tablets. If I forget to take them, I know within a couple of hours where my general well-being starts to deteriorate. And so it's important with Parkinson's to take the drugs on time. The idea behind this device is quite straightforward. The people who are suffering from side effects of their medication are visited by a research nurse or a specialist in their own home and have uh, six simple sensors attached to their arms, their legs and their head and body. These just measure movements over a period of 24 hours and then the sensors are taken back to the hospital where the data is uploaded. And it's here that the evolutionary algorithms that we've developed here at York are able to differentiate between those movements that are indicative of the side effects of the medication as opposed to any other movement that the person might undertake during that time period. In my circumstances, the effect of the monitor is to give me a better standard of life by being able to fine tune when I take tablets and thereby avoid these peaks and troughs that get without it. The wearing of it is simple, it doesn't affect your daily life. I've been used to wearing them before with heart monitors and it's a general state of affairs that uh, you get used to it, you don't even realise it's there. Nurses are able to visit the patients at home, take the devices with them, show them how to use the device, even put them on if they need to, and then collect them subsequently. We can then look at the data, make our adjustments to medication, and then the nurses can go out with the devices and remeasure and see if we have actually achieved what we intended to do. Without the monitor, the doctor's decision on when I take the tablets is dependent on the information I give. And we as patients are renowned for telling the doctor of what we think they want to know rather than what they do know, need to know. It's allowed us to develop a means of improving the quality of our patients' lives, but it's also generated an interest in the junior doctors. And I have been able to supervise three registrars through research degrees with the University of York using this kind of technology. I think one of the challenges for the future is going to be uh, countries like China, where by 2030 it's acknowledged that 4.9 million people uh, will present with Parkinson's. That's about half of the worldwide total. And to have some technology that's going to be able to help people, often in rural areas where access to healthcare is not easy, is going to make a huge difference to the quality of life uh, of both the, the patient and, and their carers. How would I hope the monitor would improve? It would quite simply make everybody's life that little bit better, and uh, which is what Parkinson's is, what we are all about with Parkinson's UK, to make everybody's life better. The cure will follow as a natural progression, hopefully. <laughs>